I'm going to show you how to find all of those extensions that you might have installed that you seem to have lost. <laughs> this happens a lot because once you go to the Chrome Web Store and you install an extension, I often hear people say, I installed it, but I can't find it. Chrome does a kind of sneaky thing, and it's good and bad. When you first install an extension, it's kind of hidden. Um, it's installed, it's active, you're ready to use it, but you can't always find the icon that you need to click on. So all you need to do is once you've installed any extension, go to this top right corner and you'll see this puzzle piece right up here. If you click on that puzzle piece, it will list all of the extensions that you have installed that are active. So right down on the right hand side next to the extension, you'll see a little pin icon. If it's blue, like you can see a few of mine here are blue, that means that they're pinned. That means that they're kept right up here in your Chrome bar. But if I go down here and I go to the moat extension, you can see that that pin is gray. That means it's not pinned. It's still in my extensions. I can use it. It's just not pinned at the top of Chrome so I can see it right away. I like to pin all of my extensions that I use all the time so I don't have to, every time I want to use it, go to the puzzle piece, scroll down the list, and then find it. So all I have to do is click on that little pin. It'll turn blue. And if you saw up here on the extensions, it appeared. So now all I have to do is click that extension and use it. But I'm also kind of particular on the order I like things. I like Loom and Screencastify together. My most common ones maybe that I use over here towards the right. You can take any one of these extensions and reorder them. So all I do is click and hold and I can take that moat icon, that extension, and I can put it anywhere I want. So now I just reordered it over here. Maybe I want the Bitmoji one over here. So you can put them wherever you want them in your order. So just remember to click the puzzle piece, go down to whichever um, extension you want, pin it, it will appear. And if you change your mind, you're like, oh, I really don't want that all the time. I, I like Grammarly, I don't need to use the extension. I just need it running. I can go down here and make that little pin instead of blue, click it again, it turns gray and it removes. So the pinned ones live up here, easy to access, easy to use. The non-pinned ones, you have to go to this um, puzzle piece to open. One more thing to consider is sometimes you want to turn extensions on or off. You don't want to uninstall them. Maybe you use it every once in a while, but you don't want it running all the time. All you need to do is click that puzzle piece. Go to the bottom down here where it says Manage Extensions. It will open a new tab, and here is where you can turn extensions on or off. So I have my Kami extension. I'm not needing it right now. I like to use it, but I don't need it running all the time. Right now it's switched off, so it's got this gray switch. If I just click that switch, it will then enable it. So if I go back to my puzzle piece, now you will see the Kami icon. Now, because I just turned it back on, it's not pinned. If it's something I'm using all the time, once again, I just click that pin. Boom, it shows up right there. I can reorder it, put it where I want, and you're ready to go. And then maybe you're like, oh, I don't need the Kami extension anymore. Just go back, turn it back off again, and it disappears. Easy way to manage all of your extensions, find them quickly, and reorder them.